Yeah. This is my new fiber optic cable. This is a lock with a screw. And this is why. I don't know if that's true or not. Just to protect the company's butt or if that actually came out and it shined in your face. Now, this I've seen in other countries that it just plugs in, it's upstairs on someone's table and it's exposed and then the cable is plugged into their Wi-Fi router, I don't know. This here is a data line that feeds this, the modem. This one can take phone line, ethernet, USB, DSL, which I don't know why, because they're trying to get out of that, cable, and a reset. This is the Wi-Fi modem that comes with me if I move. This is the company that makes it. And this is what it looks like in the front. There's many different uh, fiber optic modems, fiber optic modules, I was told. There's a whole swack load. It depends on the corporation, the company, and the country you live in. But pretty much everyone's going to have a system like this. It may not be the exact system. It's just a data system made by this company. Yeah, fuck. That was dumb. Sorry for swearing. And this is the power wire. It goes up there, goes around, goes up, goes around. That there stays for life. Now, this thing has a battery in it, but there's no battery in it due to... If I can get this open. There you go. That's what they look like if there's a battery in it. Now, this apparently would supply your voice over IP phone or your old school phone line that is right there. You see, there's your two phone, your two uh, lines for your phone, and your fiber optic is all twined into that. So you get back to your old landline if you have one, but it'll go down, and then he said it go into here. And then your battery backup, where you'd have your battery, because if this shuts off, when it's your old landline now is in here, with this shuts off, your phone line shuts off. It's not. It's like the old days where you have constant power, but where if, if the constant power goes into here or here, I can't remember. Once this shuts down with no battery, the power does not just circulate into your old landline like back in the 1900s. It does when it starts but it gets a boost and that's what happens. I don't know. Some guy was installing it. I know some stuff about technology but not all. But all I know is this is a Wi-Fi modem that would come with me. It's fiber optic. This is the power supply that will always stay with this property now. This as well stays with the property. It does not ever leave, and there's a new fiber optic cable. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but he said there's no repair kits. So if this ever breaks, it gets cut outside, or it somehow gets cut in here, it breaks. There's no such thing as a repair kit. They'd have to yank all this line out again, out of my house, to the pole, reconnect all brand new line, and redo it. So I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what he told me. So, But there's my fiber optic. I just wanted to show you what mine looks like in Canada because everyone's is going to be different. Mine is ran through the air on the pole, not underground. Yes, lots of companies are putting them underground. The, the network te telecommunication company that I, I'm through did not do the fact I'm in an old area. I'm just lucky I got fiber optic. So I will show you how fast I get. Yes, I did cover up the corporation uh, name on the boxes therefore I don't feel like getting sued so I'm just protecting myself sorry so yeah that's all decent
begin test. Supposed to get a hundred, but that's all I get is ninety eight ninety seven for my download. And this is fiber optic. Fifteen to about twenty max is my upload. I am using speedtest.net. The company that I pay money to for fiber optic. And there you have it. The company I pay for it is about, for 100 megs is about $100 a month and I'll be taking it down to $20 a month due to the fact, well, no, 50, sorry. 20 download, 5 upload for $50 a month or $60 a month because I don't need that fast. I'm just on a promotional speed. And um, yeah, so that's my fiber optic. And I see the company I'm on side to show, but hey, it's on the internet, so sue me. Well, you guys have a good day, and that's my review of the Fiber Optic, also called Infinet, where I'm at, and that's the company that I'm on. Have a good day.